I'm having fun. You guys should come join Med Pals. <laughs> MedPals is a student organization. We are a group of former teachers or former educators in whatever sense. I taught for a year in Wake County Schools teaching biology. Started tutoring a kid who had their education kind of like disrupted by COVID. Worked as a high school science teacher for about three years. I knew that I wanted to do medical school even before I had started teaching. What I wasn't expecting was to love teaching as much as I did. We go to middle schools and high schools. But then twice a year we'll have 120 to 150 students from around Pitt County come to Brody because we want them to see everything that Brody has to offer. Our goal is to inspire, mentor, and hopefully engage them in what a health science career can look like from an early age. We're wanting to focus on more this year the mentoring component of what it is that we try and do so that we can have that long-term contact. We created an undergraduate MedPals student organization because I'm far removed from that age bracket to kind of reach out to them a lot better. I never had that one-on-one -on -one contact and I honestly think that that's what made my journey a lot harder than it maybe needed to be just because I had to do a lot of the figuring out on my own. If I had a medical student or someone who looked like me or someone who had gone through a similar journey ahead of me, that would have been a big help. I think MedPals really tries to bridge that gap. You can pursue higher education. It's not just for the select few, but if no one is aware that they have that option, well, they're not gonna come here. Doctors don't just look like one thing or they're not just one type of person. We were real people, we were students sitting there in your seats, and we are here to encourage you that it is attainable, it's possible. If you're interested even a little bit, you can do it. MedPals is really fun. You go out there and you do these really cool experiments with kids. My favorite part was when um, we put the little laser thing in here and my hands started moving without me moving it. It felt like somebody just tapped on your thing, but faster. When we listen to our heartbeats, it sounded very weird, but it was cool. And after we had taught them, I was like, how many of you guys want to be a doctor or a vet? Nearly 70% of the kids just shot their hands up. And it just made me so happy. In the beginning, they were talking about how they were scared about going to the doctor. And now they're learning, like, this is actually cool. You know, we can actually do something to make the next generation of doctors. In my wildest dreams, I really just want this to blow up and to go to like every medical school there is in the country, specifically rural medical schools that, whose mission is to lift up rural communities and have their students represent the area that they're coming from.